Hey guys, James here. I'm a motion designer and photographer based here in Sydney, Australia. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I bring both worlds together along with Adobe Stock to create the magical world of cinemagraphs. We look at masking, looping and compositing to really make this cinemagraph come to life. So heading over to the Adobe Stock website, I'm just going to search candle. I'm just going to quickly go through the candles and open which ones I like in a new tab. I already like these ones on top, so I'm going to head over to my new tab. This is the first one. I quite like how it's moving. This one is just way too crazy, so probably going to skip that. Hmm, this one gets cut off at the top. Hmm, this one's kind of slow. This is another slow one. So I think I'll go back to the first one and go ahead and purchase it. So here's a speed edit of my image in Lightroom. Overall, it's pretty warm, so I'm bringing down the temperature and adding blues and science the highlights just to make the image cooler. I do this to create contrast between the flames and the background. This will allow the flames to pop out a bit more within the image. So now we've got all our assets ready, we want to bring them together in After Effects. So click on New Comp, adjust your settings to whichever platform you're posting for. Since I mainly post on Instagram, I'm going to go 1080 by 1350 and then click OK. So now we have a new comp, we want to drag our image into our composition and move and resize the image to fit the canvas. So once you're happy with your composition, go to your candle and import that into your timeline. So what we want to do next is try and find an in and out point that's similar. So I'm finding about the six second mark works pretty well for this example here. So yeah, about six seconds is looking pretty good. Now I'm just gonna trim and fine tune the end point so it looks really, really close to the beginning and creating that illusion of a loop. So now we've pretty much got a loop, we're gonna cut out this flame. So using the pen tool up here, we're gonna just quickly draw a rough mask around the flame. So now we've got our flame cut out, we're going to blend it within the image. Blending modes in After Effects are exactly the same as Photoshop. So we're going to add a screen here. So what screen does is that it removes the dark pixels in the image, leaving only the light pixels to show. In this example, it allows us to separate the flame from the background. The flame is way too big for the candle right now, so we're going to scale it down to fit the wax. On our layer, pressing S, we're going to drag it down and make it smaller and smaller just to fit the wax. So you will notice there is still a halo around the flame. That's because the blacks around the flame is still not poor black. So the blending mode hasn't completely removed the background yet. So to fix this, we're going to go to our effects and search levels. We're going to double click on levels to apply the effect to the layer. So in the levels effect, we're going to drag the left handle to the right until the halo is completely gone. And if you want to make the flame brighter, you can drag the right handle to the left and it will make it a bit brighter. And there we go. Now we've got an animated candle within your photo. You can stop here. I think this is already pretty cool. But if you want to sell the effect further, you can duplicate the flames and just add them to the eyes. And there you go. With these techniques, you should be able to add flames to your own images.